All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, Warachak Wadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shah is from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Warachak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who push the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, today we're going to get into how we need to, um, you know, follow and trust. In Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, follow the Spirit. Okay, we're not supposed to lean onto our own understanding, and we're supposed to um, constantly filter everything through the Scriptures. Okay, and um, you know if we don't do these things, as the Scriptures say, which we'll get uh, in a little bit, you know, to be carnally minded is death. Okay, if you're not following what's written, you're being carnally minded, and it's going to lead you to death. Because your flesh is going to want to do things that are unprofitable. It's going to want to do uh, things that are unlawful. Things that are pleasing. Okay, Because this flesh wants to feel comfortable. It wants to be at ease. So it's going to... Um, your flesh is going to um, basically tempt you into doing things that are going off. Alright? So that's why we got to constantly, you know, uh, be in the spirit. Constantly, you know... Uh, 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 filter things out you know properly all right and um we're going to start off with the scripture here in proverbs 3 and 5 it says trust in the lord your howl with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths be not wise in thy own eyes fear the lord your howl and depart from evil and you see you know we're not supposed to be leaning unto our own understanding all right, we're not supposed to uh, be wise in our, in our own eyes, okay? We have to follow, well, you know, what's written in the, in, in the scriptures. You know, apply things properly, okay? So, like, as it says here, and uh, I'll get this real quick. This came to mind. This is Isaiah chapter 8 and 20, and it reads, it says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And you see, if things that you do aren't, um, they're not, you know, scriptural, look, you're going off, man. Okay? And then there's even times where you got to um, have that discernment, too, because you'll have moments where, you know, the things that you may do, it may not technically be unlawful. Okay, as the scriptures say, but are they expedient? Is it wise to do that particular thing at that moment? That's something that you have to weigh out in the balance. Okay, at every moment, you have to um, ask yourself, is it necessary? You know, and that, and that's um, a being in the spirit, basically. You know, having that proper discernment. Okay. Uh, this is uh, something that we all, you know, have to continue to uh, grow in. Because we, we're not going to be perfect right now. There's no way. But right now, we really got to um, practice at getting better at these things, at being more spiritual. Okay? All right. Now, from here, I want to get, um, I'll get that Romans 8 and 6, because I quoted it uh, early. And it's, uh, it's the next, uh, the next set of scriptures that are um, in my notes right now, and we'll um, we'll start at uh, Romans eight. Um, we'll start at five. We'll go down to uh, we'll go down to at least verse eight. We'll see. Yeah, we'll go from uh, we'll take it from there though. Maybe we might need to read verse nine. But uh, this is Romans eight and five. It says, "For they that are after the flesh do mind things of the flesh." But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. So, you know, we can't be like this world. You know, this world teaches you, you know, nothing but carnality. And that's because Esau Edom is uh, ruling. Okay. He's a, a very base individual. All right. As the uh, scriptures talk about, you know, he's um, he's uh, basically the serpent in the garden. And it says in Genesis that the serpent, he's basically going to, um, he's going to be on his belly. All right. He's going to be on his belly and he's going to eat that dust. Meaning basically he's going to go after his um uh his uh carnal um you know lust. And he's basically going to just eat up confusion. 
you know, things that aren't profitable. And you see, we can't be like this man. We can't um, follow after his ways because his ways are death. We have to follow the ways of life, all right? You know, which is uh, um, these law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? So we got to be after, uh, we have to go after the spirit, you know? And it says, uh, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Okay, so when you're carnally minded, it's death because what's going to happen? You're going to uh, transgress the law, statutes, and commandments if you're carnally minded. Okay, you're going to commit sin. All right, and as the, the scriptures say in the book of Romans, uh, uh, the third chapter, it says the wages of sin is death. So you're going to, um, you're basically going to, uh, 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 you know, reap death. If you're uh, uh, if you're sowing uh, uh, you know uh, um, carnal actions, okay. It says because I'm going to keep reading. This is Romans uh, eight and seven. Now it says because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High. Neither indeed can be. And you see, to be carnally minded it, it is uh, you being uh, an enemy to the Lord. Okay. All right. And look, your 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 carnal that um that flesh of yours, that carnal mind, it's not going to be in, in um in subject to the law. It's going to want to do uh, uh, uh what's pleasing, okay? You see, your your body's going to want to do what's pleasing. It's not going to want to be in subjection. It doesn't want to uh, have that uh, that discipline, okay? It doesn't want to have that discipline. And look, your, your uh, um, flesh is going to be at war with your spirit, non-stop. So it's a constant battle. So we got to constantly, um, you know, check ourselves. We got to examine ourselves non-stop, you know. I'm going to keep reading. It says, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High. Um, let me see. It says, I'm going to read this one. It says, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the Spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, he is none of his. And you see, you no, know, Lord willing, we are a part of the elect, okay? You know, we're we're not in this uh, flesh, all right? We're in the Spirit. You know, we filter things out through the Scriptures, okay? You know, there's times where, you know, we, we got to make a decision of what Scripture to apply at that particular moment. You know, we can't, you know, be like the rest of these people out here. Okay? We got to, have you know, have a completely different uh, 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 vibration, conduct. We have to have a different walk. Okay? Now, from here, I want to get, um, let's just uh, jump to uh, Sirach 37 and 16. Okay? And these scriptures... Um, that I have written down there they're not in any particular order these are just scriptures that I um that I was thinking about uh, when I was um when this topic came in, into my mind all right and it says here in uh Sirach 37 and 16 it says let reason go before every enterprise and counsel before every action so we have to have that reason before every enterprise and enterprise is um Basically like a, um, you know, let's just get it. I don't even want to uh, mess up the uh, definition. All right, enterprise. It, um, this is from uh, the 15th century. An undertaking, formerly uh, also enterprise from old French enterprise, an undertaking, all right? So basically uh, your actions, all right? Okay, so you have to have a uh, reason before every action. You know, you got to filter things out, all right, with these scriptures. Okay. Let me get this, and it says, uh, let me get the word counsel, all right. And it says, and, and counsel before every action. Now that counsel, this is, um, 
from the 12th century says advice or instruction given. Okay, from the 13th century, mutual advising or interchanging of opinions, con uh, consultation. You see, you, you got to have uh, uh, some type of uh, counsel with the brothers. There's times where you have to, um, you know, ask for their opinion. Oh, is this a wise, you know, move? Is that a poor choice? Is that a wise, you know, decision? You know, you have to ask these things. You, you got to talk to brothers from time to time. Because there's times where you may think that you're doing something right, okay? But, you know, a brother might uh, 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 see that particular action you want to do and say, Hey, wait a minute, Doc. That, that, that's, that's not a, a wise, you know, a wise action right there. As a matter of fact, you're actually going off right now. Brother points something out. He points out your flaws. He sees it. Okay, because he's um, looking, um, he's uh, an outsider looking in, basically. Okay? And so you have to uh, take heed to what uh, uh, the men of the Lord are saying. Because really, the men of the Lord are the mouthpiece, the voice of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. So you have to uh, really consider what each uh, man is saying, okay, that's preaching this word. It doesn't matter if they're the head of a camp, all right? Or the first member, or the the last member that um, crossed the line. If the spirit's on that uh, individual, the spirit's on that individual. Okay, and don't fight the spirit, because wait, well, once you fight the spirit, it's like you um, trying to uh, uh, paddle uh, upstream. Okay, now you're fighting, and you're gonna end up losing. Okay, and I'm gonna keep reading. It says. Uh, Advice, counsel, um, deliberation. Oh, that's the one I wanted to get. It says lawyer, one who gives legal counsel, and we're spiritual lawyers, basically. You know, hey, you know, we're we're uh, uh, we're giving that that spiritual legal counsel. We're telling you, you know, what's proper and what's not. What what's uh, uh, profane and what's holy. Okay, we basically help ourselves out. You know. Um, we help one another out, you know, uh, 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 in this walk of ours, okay? And it's much needed because, we're, you know, well, we're not perfect. We need that, uh, uh, that second opinion from time to time, you know, okay? All right, from uh, here, I want to get this uh, Proverbs uh, 4 and 26. It says, uh, ponder the path of thy feet and that all thy ways be established, okay? Now, I got to look up. A word or two. All right. Um, ponder, which is palak, which means to weigh, uh, uh, to make level balance. So you have to uh, basically uh, put everything in a balance. All right, the pros and the cons of all your decision making, and you got to see what's uh, 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 most profitable. Okay. It says, ponder the path of, of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Okay? And basically that word established is, the, um, it goes into uh, basically having that order. Okay? Um, basically following through with what, um, with what you uh, have said you were going to do. Okay? And that's another thing too. You, you got to make sure that you follow through with things. Because there's times where, you know, we know that, you know, these are the, the, the right um, decisions we need to make. And there's times that we don't do them. We don't follow through. And that's because, you know, our flesh is weak. All right. There's, you know, our flesh is not, you know, at times disciplined. It goes off. You know, it happens. You know, we're not, you know, perfect. This flesh, is, man, it is. This flesh is rough to deal with. This is why we need Yahweh Shai to come and save us, not only from Esau, but uh, ourselves, because this flesh is just, it's weak. It's really weak. It's terrible to be in. As the scriptures say, this, this is a chains of darkness, man. You know? Now I'm going to go back to that Proverbs. I'm going to finish out uh, 4 and 20. Uh, I'm going to read it again. This is uh, Proverbs 4 and 26. Ponder the path of thy feet. 
and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. So, you know, we got to make sure that we're walking uh, on the balance, you know, properly. Okay, you don't want to lean too far to the left or too far to the right. You know, you don't want to be over-righteous, nor do you want to be over-wicked. You want to make sure that you're, you know, centered properly. Okay? And it says, uh, remove thy foot from evil. So, hey, you know, as the scriptures say, um, stay away from all appearances of evil. Hey, if things just don't seem right, just to walk away from that situation. Okay? We're not in the time to uh, uh, to be even, you know, uh, tempting the Lord. It's, the, it's that old saying, it, you, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to be safe than sorry. Okay? Now from here, I'm going to get um, 2 Ezra 14, and I believe it's verse 12 um, that I need to get. This is, uh, whoops, 2 Ezra 14. And um, I'll start at 13. This is uh, 2 Ezra 14 and 13. It says, Now, therefore, set thy house in order. And this is talking first and foremost, you're, you're uh, um, uh, basically getting your own self in order. Okay? You got to get yourself in order first and foremost. Okay? You know, and then, you know, you deal with the brotherhood. Okay? Deal with your, you know, your family. You get them in order. All right. And it says, and reprove thy people. Now, after you, you know, you get yourself cleaned up, you know, you, you start following the spirit of, you know, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You start following the law, statutes, and commandments. You, you basically change. You know, you, you, you put away that old man. You, you, you know, you um, get uh, grounded and rooted. Hey, at some point, there's time to. to there's going to be a time when you need to start teaching. you got to spread this word. Okay? It says, And reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. And the main thing is, you know, we're out there to uh, to gather the lost uh, sheep of the house of Israel. That's our main objective. Because the, the, these are the ones who really need to hear these words. Because they need to get right with Yahweh Hashem Shah before, you know, that, that great, you know, uh, Horrific day of the Lord, man. That terrible day of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because we know that there's going to be a much, you know, death, chaos, destruction. Okay? We know this. Alright? And it says, And now renounce corruption. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. And that's what we got to do. We got to... Let go from mortal thoughts. We can't be sitting here thinking about, uh, uh, you know, our carnal lust. You know, we can't, you know, uh, have our mind, you know, attached to this world. Okay? We got to um, be in the spirit. Okay? We got to constantly be in the spirit. And it says, uh, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. And that's what we had to do. We got to put off the weak nature. Okay? Can't be uh, uh, emotional. We have to have uh, a logic. Okay? We have to have reason. We always got to go back to these scriptures. We can't be like these people. Because look, your, your flesh, as the scriptures say, let me get this real quick and, um, I think it's the book of Jeremiah, the uh, 17th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. I think like 17 and 9. It says, yep, it says right here, it says, Salakia, this damn thing's giving me a problem. I'll just read it. It says, it's uh, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 9. It says, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? You see, you, your mind is desperately wicked, and that's because it's in the flesh, man. Okay? can't have the, the same mind frame as these people out here. Alright? These people aren't going to use logic. They're going to uh, base everything on emotion. They're going to give in to their lust. They already do it now, but it's going to get worse as, you know, the society continues to crumble. 
And the reason why is because uh, of the lack of resources. Okay? Basic necessities are going to go away. And that's going to um, cause them to, uh, to do these wicked acts, you know? But it's all judgment of the Lord. Okay? No, we can't... Uh, hey, when you see people die, you can... <laughs> You can't sit there and and uh, basically uh, get caught up in that, man. You know, these, these things are coming. I'm going to keep reading verse 15. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. Okay, you, we got to set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto us, okay? Can't get caught up in the affairs of this life, you know? Look, don't worry about uh, your family. Don't worry about, um, you know, your job, your house, you know, what people think of you, your reputation. Don't think about these things. Put that to, uh, to the side. Just worry about your how about Shema and Shai. You please the Lord, the Lord is going to uh, guide you properly. He's going to take care of you, you know. You just have to have that faith and that trust. Okay. But, um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, these were just a couple scriptures that I had in mind. It was just something um, that I wanted to bring out because uh, I had uh, a deep conversation with two uh, other brothers last night. And, um, and we were just, you know, going in uh, on this subject. You know, we got to really, uh, really stay focused, you know. Because, you know, hey, Satan is, uh, what does it say in the scriptures? He's like a roaring lion. All right, you know, seeking uh, whom he can devour, like the Lord uh, saying is on our ass, man. You know, we gotta make sure that you know we uh, we're constantly you know combating Satan with uh, scriptures. You know, we gotta make sure that we're following the Spirit. Make sure that we're um, you know, make sure that we're uh. Not leaning into my own understandings. Alright. And you know, with that, I hope this was edifying and I'm gonna give all praises, honor, glory, how about Shimi Al Shai. Also double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all the brothers out there.